Hello again, welcome to this uh, this evening's live coding session. Um, we're gonna pick up where we left off last time. Uh, I was busy implementing some health checks in, in my application and wanted to see if uh, warming up uh, my app service still works with .NET Core. Uh, I figure it might still work when deploying to a Windows environment but it might not work when hosting on the Linux environment because you're not running via IIS. At least that's my assumption. Um, if you want, uh, if you want to join, join me in the chat, please do. <coughs> also, if you have any comments, please put them in the chat uh, so I can uh, address them. And uh, well. That's about it for now. I've uh, I've stopped using Pretzel Rocks for this uh, show. I've I'm now using a playlist by Harris Heller, some uh, gaming uh, streamer, game streamer. He also does some music and uh, YouTube videos apparently, and uh, he's got a nice playlist, uh, stream beats playlist, uh, which I'm gonna play this evening and see if. Uh, if this music is to my liking. So there's the music and uh, let's let's start coding. So this is uh, where we left off last time. So I have this secure API and I have some uh, health checks implemented in them. So. Oh. I've been making the music a bit softer for me. If it's too loud for you, please let me know so I can address it in, in the feed. Uh, but what I did is uh, have an application insights publisher. I have an uh, added a health check. This health check, what this does is making an HTTP GET to my backend API, which should return a, 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 an authorized or forbidden, depending on which X token you send. Uh, so this this works. I can see this is uh, this stuff is being hit. Um, that's about it. Uh, I've stopped the, the backend API, so instead of an unauthorized and forbidden, I should retrieve, should get a an available or 500 error, something like this. <laughs> but I should be able to see it from uh, from the response. Uh, so that's that's what we did last week, uh, and I stopped the service last week. Um, so next up is, is the Azure uh, environment. So this is uh, the Azure portal and I've got application insights hooked on to it. And when doing a search for the past, let's say an hour, I'm seeing a lot of dependency stuff not being hit, so get the weather forecast, so this isn't being hit, <laughs> which makes sense because it's off. Why is it trying to hit this? So the path weather forecast is returning a Result code 403, so that's good. Strange though. I thought it was turned off. Let's see the resource group. So the speakers API should be turned off. It stopped. What's the date? Uh, 
What's the date? I've just been a week off handling uh, some stuff at home. So our kids are at home also, so they're still one and three years old, so they don't go to school. And being a week off helping my wife with the kids was great. It was great weather, so I could spend all day long outside. How was your week? I wonder. Let me open up the chat again in full screen. So, there's it. There it is. So, life metrics. How often are health checks being called? Do you know? It would be useful if they were called like once every X seconds. Health checks. I still got this, uh, this tab open, or I opened it. Uh, this is health checks. Health checks. Basic health probe. So, uh, it's the. Mm. Dependency. So, who's calling this? Who's calling this? Get. Yes, lots of dependencies. So that's good, but who is calling? Can I see this? Who has invoked? Stuff? Can't I? So end to end. Yes, this is the end. Oh, that's great. That's annoying. Four or three. Code 403, that's strange though. Because what is 403? HTTP. HTTP 403 is forbidden. So if I go to this, unavailable. That's also a 403. That's a strange error code for a stopped website. <laughs> okay, today I learned a stopped website that is a forbidden HTTP code. That's strange. Or at least, not what I expected. Still, I got... Uh, how about without this one? Slash weather. Oh. What was the site's name? Oh, sure. Will also result in an error because the site is stopped. Yes, the website is stopped. Site disabled. 
Okay. So the health check should return healthy because it's forbidden. Okay, makes sense. Let's see what if what if I turn it on? This this secure speakers mm, start. Also, uh, thanks for a follow, Amitramesh. I hope I pronounced it right. Appreciate it. Yes, that's what I expect. 401. Also healthy. Let's see what happens if I run it from over here. If you know how often health checks are being invoked, please let me know. So I got in there two times because it's over here. It's a hosted service. No, it's just a health check. Okay. So it's being invoked every couple of seconds. I think I've read somewhere five seconds. again <clears throat> maybe it's somewhere in the in the help in the documentation seconds till 15 seconds Okay, so the health check is being invoked a couple of times. That's good. Closing it. And stopping this backend API again. So now I should get a different and not forbidden okay so it's forbidden <coughs> 403 is what's it again 403 401 
something like this. So I don't want the site disabled. Uh, invariant. In no case. mistaken I've got some work I've got some CI and CD for this stuff going on where is it over here I'll just commit this new scene and right. disable check pushing it So how many times has this been invoked, this executing health check in the insights search? Okay. Which is strange ish because my logging is set to log informational. Information stuff should be logged. stuff over here I'm not let's do so my logger See if I can get rid of these parameter info hints. But if you were to create such a feature, how would you call it? Um, Visual Studio, print, hint. Is that what it's called? Inlay hints. Resharper. It's a resharper option. Oh. Environment editor inlay hints.
<sighs> Save. Only for names. Mm, that's good. Makes sense. Committing this again. Okay, so now I'm logging stuff. We also need to specify this has to go to App Insights. Not really. So the expense is down. <laughs> this makes sense. How is the build going? game so in one of my next sessions I will be doing a, a dedicated build server probably via container which I'm able to spin up right before my coding session maybe a VM at least something not hosted I've read some, I've read a couple of blog posts about it, um, which sounds quite doable, or at least from what I've taken from them, it sounds quite doable to create a build container via ACI or something like it. I don't want to spin up a whole Kubernetes cluster for it because that's way expensive, right? Uh, but uh, an ACI makes sense. I'll just spin it up at eight o'clock my time 
8 o'clock uh, p.m. and spin it down whenever I'm done. Would also make it a lot easier to do some caching. <laughs> Why is this taking so long? Four minutes ago. It's cute. bit of hay fever going on so my eyes aren't working as I'd like them still good enough to do some programming and waiting of course So can we do something else in the meantime? Well, as a matter of fact, we can. So I also mentioned, well, I have, I have this health check going on right now, so that's good. But how about the warmer? Because this health check will start when the application started. So you first have to start the process. Um, well, maybe it, it starts anyway, if the, that's something I can't validate, it has to be deployed first and do some logging in Application Insights. I do wonder why it wasn't logging. Anyway, when this stuff is logging, I can check if this health check makes sure my application will be warmed up and if not i have to check one of my older blog posts i already googled for it so there's one over here where i mention what you can do it's from 2018 so this is well rather old tech but it's from January 2018 so what I'm doing over here is adding some application initialization in the system.web server of the web.config file and this will make sure whenever your application will start this endpoint will be invoked uh, this endpoint will be invoked and this is something IAS does and also app services use so whenever you deploy your web application to some app service it's underneath hosted, hosted by IIS or at least that's what my assumption and IIS will make sure your this endpoint will be invoked and your application will be started so this will this endpoint will also be invoked uh, before or when doing a swap so if you have a staging slot and a production slot in your app service and you deploy to your staging slot whenever doing a swap so making staging your production slot and vice versa it will invoke this warm-up endpoint before releasing the the slot uh, slot swap which makes your user users connect make a new request to a warmed up new version of your website so this is pretty awesome but i think it will only work with windows app services that's what we're about to find out if the health checks don't work i see there's some formatting going on fix this at some point it's 
So, how's Madeleine's going? Ah, oh, man. This build is still going on. Slow. Two minutes. Should have been doing a right kick publish. That's way faster. Doing now. Building. So this is the nugget package I'm using. see if there's something in the docs um, how many times a health endpoint is being invoked health check options And this is just some testing. this so how about the oh there's a release and another one so I can cancel this one oh, it's almost done Anyway, both are done. So now this release is almost done. Yeah, it's deploying the app services. API conference piece. So this won't take long. <coughs> and then this one can start, which has some additional logging. And now when this is being deployed, or when this is deployed, we have to wait for the messages to appear in Application Insights. 
so this is still stopped yes so that's good <coughs> log has been published Lots and lots of dependencies, so let's change the dependencies. Don't care about them. Requests. What's we'll a 307? A C P 307. Temporary redirect. <coughs> Microseconds. Nanos. Hmm. That's pretty fast. So any traces? Trace. Upload trace. Not really stuff I'm logging, or at least not consciously. Just so you know, I won't be streaming uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, or well, maybe I will. Tomorrow, I'll be doing a, a small talk at uh, next or at, at this uh, this venue, or at least the venue will be online. Online, it will be a, this is a virtual event. Uh, but uh, I'll be talking here along with uh, Hank Boomon. Uh, on on uh, well, what I what I've been doing on this uh, this platform these uh, these past couple of live coding sessions, using managed identities to connect to other app services. So and I'm gonna do a small recap on what I did. It's a 30 minute talk, so it will be quite fast paced. Uh, hopefully, the attendees will have some background knowledge on managed identities and Active Directory, stuff like this. Otherwise it will be rather technical. So uh, this is, I think it will be at 7.30 p.m. my time, CEST. So I will be done at 8 o'clock. So I could probably do some live coding afterwards. Uh, let's let's see. I, I can probably squeeze some coding in tomorrow. Probably will do so because I'm already here. So this is being deployed, or this has been deployed, which is good. And I see, well, there is something. Finally. The health check is running, so that's good. Start percent. Oh, this is what we saw last time. File, file not found. So, 
I don't know what this is. I wasn't able to find something last time either, right? So copy. Sublime. So this is... I don't know. Found, found. Maybe Google knows. Got net core app service. Found, not found. This is 2017. So this looks familiar. Oh, this is UWP. Strange. Win32. Would I be referencing a Win32 assembly? That's not possible, right? Well, it is possible. Let's see if I'm... Hmm, no. Properties and build. But what's the agent? Is the the agent might be So let's uh, let's just make it uh, 64, uh, 64 bit, which is better, right? More bits, it's better. Um, and see in the app servers, there's some flag for this. <laughs> Channel setting. Oh, platform 32 bit. Okay, so maybe not. That it's to the slack. I don't know why it would be 32 bit. Maybe there's some reason for this. What does my. What does the code? What does the ARM template state about this? I think nothing. So this is the conferences, backend for frontend. I am not specifying it, so probably the default is 32 bit. It's a bit of a long shot. If this would be the issue. <laughs> Still, the only the only post on this. Anyway, paste insights. Let's view my data. I 
are not interested in the dependencies. Last 30 minutes. And I'm seeing some health checks over here. God states code forbidden. Okay. So this is actually quite good. Health check, speaker API health. This is also good because this means is someone hitting, did I hit the website myself? I don't think I did. And this pipeline isn't either. So there might be some bot hitting my website. That shouldn't matter much. So I'm not doing a smoke test over here, which is good. And I'm getting SP Corsac Speaker API Health. This is also good. Custom event. Yes, this is the um, the plugin. I install so the custom event. Is this useful in any way? You can't see much on this. So, oh, I had, or I should have turned on. The, the detailed reports, exclude healthy, save detailed reports. So is this a detailed report? Doesn't look very detailed. ASP.NET Core health check. Uh, that's that's this one. So there's also the extension health checks source. So the application insights publisher ASP.NET Core health check. Let's put it over here. So that's this one. Report entry. So now you can see tracking went. Save detailed report. Looks like this. Properties. So where are the custom properties? Machine name assembly. Family health check name, yes, metrics, custom measurement status is zero, so it's unhealthy. What's the difference with the details and the non details? Report entry, where value is exception. So I'm doing so where there's an entry.
channelized. So the difference is the name of the health check. That's the detailed part. That's kind of not useful. Is it? Oh, but can I see this log information? Was I able to see this? Health check. Executed and executing. I can't see anything. Why can't I see this stuff? Add application insights. Do I need to specify it over here also? That might make sense. Some service collection. To get the logging of application, how to get the logging of my .NET Core in App Insights? I thought this should be doable, or the only thing I needed to do is add it to my app service. Apparently not. Core my logging. Enable debug logger. Okay. This just annoys the heck out of me. Not no formatting. With that net core. This isn't for the points or anything, it's just readability. It annoys me more as it should. Using a pin size with .NET Core, I can see the Azure application insights. And also install shit. Okay, cool. So both this gives
Okay. So this is a bit better. Update. Logging up insights. Oh, I have to add this. Sure. Do I? And that might that that might indeed be it. Pass create builder. instrumentation key do I need the, the filter that's the docs which might be more useful Okay, so I don't have to specify it, or at least that's what I, I'm getting from this. Because I'm already specifying this in the configuration. Configure services. Fork over there. Discard. <laughs> let's let's also push this to see what happens. drop the bills going oh wow my explorer just crashed when doing 
the Windows tab. Because why would it? <laughs> Build is running. It's still waiting. Whoa. Don't want to go to the commit. Cute. Did I, uh, I did mention it, virtual global Azure, which is happening this week. It's uh, April 23rd to 25th with, wow, 153 speakers all over the world. Two more as 200 session and one global stream. Cool. Oh wow, there's also famous people. That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Oh, be sure to check this out because these sessions are awesome. Mark his session. Ask me anything. Sami, I don't know. Sami? Security session call. Cloud oriented computing with Fishwash Lele. Nice. So, lots of lots of other people talking, streaming stuff. So, be sure to check this out. Let's see if I can find my own picture. There I am. What happens? Oh, nice. You can click on the sessions. And there it is. Nice. So, there you go. I'll be doing some uh, some promoting on this this week. So tomorrow I have the dot next next dot net session, which will be in Dutch. But these sessions will all be in English, or at least mine. Are there also, I, th I saw Hank his picture. So Hank, getting started with machine learning, he knows everything about this stuff. Magnus, the monitoring solutions, great, great. Lots and lots of famous people. So be sure to check this out. So it's a virtual.globalazure.net. And lots and lots of great sessions. Worldwide sessions. Oh wow, this is a great agenda. So you can pick and choose whatever you want. Live from Spain, serverless. Oh, I think I have to call in to call the office or my customer if I won't be doing any work during the virtual Global Azure event, because this is just too cool not to attend. Major list of content, great stuff, nice. So be sure to check that out. It'll be Thursday, Friday, and I think Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Still not done. But if my suspicions are correct, these health checks are invoked right after a deployment. 
that's that's great stuff that's great maybe i could check this so i'm in app insights right now i'll have to wait for the deployment to finish no that won't be Mm. Oh, that one's done. So why is this one still waiting? It's cute. Okay. I probably want to do a deployment without the infrastructure in order to test something. Because over here, or somewhere over here, Somewhere over here in the... <laughs> wow, this is me pointing to the portal. Somewhere over here you can turn on the logging. The, the useful logging. Is it this one? Diagnostic settings? I don't think so. Logs. Metrics. These aren't it. The stuff, the diagnostic settings. These are just reading stuff. This is it, app service logs. So I want to turn on application logging. Yes, I should be able to turn application logging on. Um, I can do this without deployment, I think. So I'll be I'm waiting for this deployment to happen. But the infrastructure is already deployed right now. Which is good. So when this is done, I can turn it on right now. So application logging, informational, safe retention. Now this can be turned off. <laughs> Okay. And now I can go to Kudu in order to download this stuff. And hopefully, hopefully, App Service Logs, Web Service Log Details, Failed Request Tracing. Okay, cool. No, 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 this won't do anything useful. What I want to do is something I did over here. Check the failed request, but then I have to add the web.config file to the app service. Not something I envy doing right now. The deployment is done. So this is turned on. Kudu is up. And I will. 21.42.43. I'm restarting. So it's restarted. Debug console. take a while because it's restarting at least that's what i'm hoping for unavailable mm. slash weather forecast 
Oh no, I did. I sh shouldn't have hit this one. No, now I have to restart it again because I have invoked the endpoint, and now I have to live with it. Well, now my application will be started and will be polluting the logs. <coughs> Last 30 minutes without the dependencies. <laughs> Maybe I want to log the, the reason the reason phrase. So while I'm while we're waiting. Last phase card with the region. enough pork Commit. <coughs> so that's disabled is what I expected. This one should show up something now. Yes, it does. Restart. So successfully restarted. That's what it says at least. Twenty one forty six. This was three minutes ago, but I've done it again. This might take some time to flush, maybe. Life metrics, this might be useful. Oh. So it's still starting, maybe. It took some time. The other time. It took some time. That state's forbidden. So I was restarting it at 46. Level error. So this is useful stuff. Live metrics is being hit at 47, so my website is up all of a sudden, so that's good. Dependencies are being hit, exception, so no one has hit my site yet. Well, maybe App Insights does something, let's assume not. And my health endpoint got triggered. When starting, speaker API health completed. Good. 
I think it's every 30 seconds. 30. Yes. So every 30 seconds, my health check is being triggered. Which is good. So this proves to me. Or maybe. Yeah. This proves to me you can use or maybe misuse health checks in order to do some warm up. Yes. There's also something about this in the in this dock. Um, So there was something with a delegate. Health check publisher. Or at least I think there was something over here. specify if it should run another time register maybe would have been useful if I had yes this is it isn't this the same separate readiness and lifeliness okay so startup task completed. So this is a health check. It's false. So if false. So this is useful. Simulate effect of a long running startup task. Startup task completed. Start async. Oh, this is the hosted service. Okay, so this is using a hosted service. So I can do this. So what you can do, if you only want to run your health check once, or warming up maybe, is creating let's let's see the solution explorer so i should be adding <coughs> uh, public collage okay implement stuff start and stop start the post so I can inject this I think I host the service feed or So this needs a context, so I don't have a context. Why does it need a context? I'll check context, okay. So maybe I... Do I need a context? No, the cancellation, I'm not using the cancellation token either. So make this uh, internal. 
What's it doing? Response. So this is the HTTP response message. service and then I'm doing all of this stuff This isn't very pretty, but you will probably see what I'm doing. You'll probably see what I want to accomplish. Don't need this anymore. Okay, and now I can do this check service from within. This code cancellation token. Um, <clears throat> and now I need to add a so I have this over here. Let's assume this is a warm-up task. Start a task completely. Oh, let's just go with this. So it's true. Or it's, it's what is it? It's a bool. Obviously. So and now I can do a check over here, which means I don't have to invoke this long running warm up thing every time. So if going to if not return. Oh, and don't have. <laughs> okay, so this one isn't necessary anymore. A little bit too much. A little bit too much. So, where's fork? Um, I need an if statement. <coughs> this one. This is still necessary. Set off. So, okay. And otherwise. 
minus this one. So now I've made this one internal. Don't try this at home. Startup task. Okay. Public mode. Oh, so internal. And now I have to register the, the hosted service. Let's see if they're doing it via the normal way. Startup, add health checks, add hosted service. Yeah. So this over here. What was uh, speaker service? Warm up service, sorry. That's all there is to it. Mm. Okay, so they also added this as a singleton. Interesting. So a hosted service you can imagine. Startup host service health check. So this is the speaker service. Hmm. Mm, makes sense. It this could work. see if this works so I'm over here um, now let's go let's go over here on um, the stop doesn't have to do anything Complete task now I'm over here and this is the the health check part, so if I'm in this breakpoint, the health check is being triggered. If I'm over here, the host service is triggered. Let's see who's first. The hosted service is first. Now the health check kicks in, this should be true. Oh, this this should shouldn't be should be like this. Mm -hmm. Nice. So that's all there is to it. Warm-ups can be done with host service, and you can misuse you can misuse health checks for this. Would this be a good idea? Well, if you're doing some kind of caching stuff, You could do this on startup via the hosted service. When the application starts, so the host service is invoked and do some in-memory caching or starting up the DB context, stuff like this. And whenever you need to flush the cache or refresh items, set some flag so the health check will make sure stuff is being refreshed. Could be a 
Could be a viable use case. Let me sleep in it for a night. And call it a day. So oh, I want to do some logging over here also. Um, so I have this speaker shows in order to do my logger service. I want to see what happens in Azure. What? Oh. this uh, log information is still log information executed okay so that's running yes let me just commit this publish This isn't something you don't want to use this hosted service and set a flag if there's an actual health check. But it, it might be useful for what I'm doing right now, or I, I want to see how warm up can behave. So if you have warm up stuff, you can misuse this. If you want to do health checks, don't. And while this build is running, well, I, I won't be waiting for this. Where is it? It's over here. So this build will be running. It will be deployed in a couple of minutes. And we can see tomorrow in the, in the logs. I'm probably doing some coding tomorrow. So we can see in the logs what the, what the, uh, order is of the events happening that's why i'm logging this executing and executed stuff with that i hope you learned something i know i did and i'll see you back tomorrow either in the dot next event which will be dutch so dot next oh, next I'm always confused. So next, next dot net, next dot net. So I will be there. And if you miss me over there, I'll be doing some coding on this channel. So stay safe, stay healthy, and see you next time. Thank you all.